Agribusiness in Ireland accounts for an enormous amount of employment, about 160,000 people. It's about 8% of GDP, it contributes hugely to the exports of the Irish economy. Those exports are underpinned by, by farmers. There's over uh, 110,000 farmers in this country. And it's a vast range of businesses from globally successful multinationals who have spin-offs and create massive employment in Ireland to a lot of smaller specialised producers who have great potential for the future. They're not yet creating a lot of employment, they're not creating huge exports, but they really have significant potential in terms of the quality of their products. We felt in the Farmer's Journal that it was about time that there was a special publication looking and highlighting at what's going on within that very huge sector. We spent a long time thinking what should be in the supplement um, and there are a number of sections that I'd encourage people to go and have a look at because there's a lot of good stuff in there in terms of exporters developing export markets etc. But one of the things we felt we should do was a survey. We thought there were two purposes. Number one, a snapshot as to what the temperature, if you like, is of Irish agribusiness today and the leaders of Irish agribusiness and what they think. And then secondly, to, to enable us to have a baseline for developments in, in service in future years. And it's probably, as far as I know, the first all-island uh, agribusiness report looking at companies both north and south. And I think that's important as well because we have more that brings us together than rather than divides us. The things that came from the survey is that people are very optimistic, refreshingly optimistic maybe, in terms of the doom and gloom out there at the moment. A lot of refreshing optimism from the leaders of the sector. Most of them intend to grow their businesses. Most of them are confident that their businesses will grow well in excess of the expected growth rate of the Irish economy. In general, people felt that government were doing quite a lot. But there's obviously always room for improvement. And in terms of opening offices, uh, board B offices in markets, developing markets where there isn't a presence on the ground at the moment, Things like that are important. Things like um, developing uh, export credit insurance and making it more affordable and amenable to companies. There's things like that that can and do make a big difference to companies, especially small companies trying to develop markets. And that's why there's more the government can do and should be doing because it has that domino effect right through the economy. Over two thirds of the companies that we surveyed expect to be adding employees in the next 12 months. And that has to be significant in the context of Ireland and our unemployment rate. Agribusiness is very, very important to KPMG. We have offices in any country in the world that people want to export to. And that's often maybe the first port of call for people to us in terms of, you know, I need a contact in China, or I need one in Indonesia, or I need one in Peru. Uh, and we can obviously deliver on that. Without wanting to be overly dramatic about it, the, the decisions that we make now in terms of Ireland's agribusiness are decisions that are going to have far-reaching effects in terms of the ability of Ireland to develop and get back to where it was, get back into growth, and very much it'll be the future for ourselves and our children. As food producers, Ireland is ideally positioned. We've got an excellent brand reputation, we've got a competitive production base, uh, and we've got farmers that are willing to embrace change, and I think that, that positions us very well. One thing we're realising is the global markets change. Ireland, uh, and indeed Irish agriculture, is no longer just determined by what happens in Europe. This is a global uh, market in which we're producing beef, dairy, and a host of other products for. So I think the, the, the global footprint of KPMG, combined with the knowledge of the Farmers' Journal, at farm level of the sector makes this a, an excellent report and, and indeed an excellent partnership. Mm -hmm.